go. Good day, everybody. This is BA Radiant Dawn, and we got ourselves a mythic trailer today. Um, for the first time, I'm actually bringing along a guest co-host. Uh, D, all of the above. Uh, yeah. I am bringing Ilya from Phaeology. Uh, link to the channel is going to be down in the description below. Definitely check them out. Check them all out. There's like five of you guys, aren't there? <laughs> uh, you know, it's a big number. <laughs> we, we are legion. That's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah, so um, let's uh, get into the trailer. I'm actually kind Let's do of it. I'm excited. I, we haven't had enough FE4 representation. Yeah, we, we saw who the um, we, we saw who we saw the thumbnail. We we're instantly like, we know exactly who this is, but we're like, I know that is. We forget everyone and everything else. <laughs> so let's go. I'm curious about the weapon. It's <laughs> gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be power craft. Um, uh, let's just go. Can we get the Niffle soundtrack instead of this? <laughs> Dude, it's such a good, such a good soundtrack. Oh, it's so good. The Bowmaster, Ullur. Ullur? My name is Ullur. Yuller. Once I was called a crusader. Genial. Oh, light mythic. Okay. The U oh, fell. That's what it is. God, oh, I'm, I'm an so idiot. dumb. I know, I feel like such an idiot. What color was that bow? <laughs> it was blue. Oh, it's a blue bow. Mm. Goodbye, Crom. Goodbye, Crom. I was about to say goodbye, Crom. Okay, so power. let's take a look at this here. Oh, Dead Eye! Damn, they put that in mythic. Yo. Die, life and death, times pulse. Okay, so accelerate. Oh my goodness, it's, that's such a holy combination. If unit initiates that <laughs> holy, if unit initiates combat or opposes HP is greater than seventy five percent, attack speed plus six during combat neutralizes penalties to unit's attack speed and inflicts. And effects and inflict. Okay, so guard and all that have no effect on her, and she gets Ooh. like a one cooldown dead eye essentially. Yeah, because she turns it to a turn cooldown special with her bow and then times pulse. Yeah, dead eye is like one, and it can't be guarded. That's insane. Mm -hmm. uh, life and death four, just like um, I Gren had and um, Layla. Also had life and death four, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a that's a beast lot skill. Uh, oh god, how do you want me to pronounce? I'm gonna go with Young V. Young V is something. Neutralizes effects that prevent units follow up attacks during combat. If you initiates combat, you can make a follow up attack before a foe can counter attack. So it's like a half wind sweep. It's it's like a half. Um, it's like it's like no follow up combined mm, no follow -up. with yeah. dive bomb sort of. It's almost like a dive bomb effect a dive of bomb getting to attack first twice. Up. Um, but obviously, the the swing of this is that you can't stop her from attacking twice, mm -hmm. and both of her attacks will come out before your counter. So her dead eye, which can't be guarded, <laughs> is going to hit you. That's the stick here. <laughs> this is this is so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so she's just gonna <laughs> hit you once, and if that doesn't kill you, she will dead eye you, and then you're just dead. You can't do anything about it. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, she basically just gets to just would hit you three times because dead eye is doubling the damage. Yeah, and, uh, and damage disables, reduction doesn't exist. Yeah. God, that's, exactly. That is disgusting. This might be the best bow unit in the game. I want to say <laughs> it's the best bow, in, bow unit in the game. This is this is pretty good. Okay, let's see who else is on this. This is really good. Stats are important too, but also being a, a light mythic is going to be nice to have. Well, we know she's going to be like pure attack and speed, probably low defenses. Maybe, he has to be. I, I want to say like maybe forty-one ish speed at base potentially. Would be my guess. Forty-one, forty-two. Yeah, we'll um, seems to be the she's going to enable seventh slot, right? Surely oh, she's oh, going yeah. to enable seven slot shenanigans. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Let me see if the icon has a thingy. I'm pretty sure it does. Yes, yes. Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, and she grants more speed to your army. That's cool. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. I love this unit. I want to pull on this. If I had, if I had the orbs, if I had the orbs, I would. Okay, let's see. Well, I got like 40 orbs. I got a, a 
like a very bad chance. No, well, no. Yeah, hit once. Green oh, mage. Did he die? Did he even die? Dead eye. Oh my god. Green mage has oh. nothing on. Oh, oh, this guy's getting nuked. 214! <laughs> oh my god! overkill. Okay, so we got uh, Ire, Mystic Boost, cool. Yune, Yune, I don't think she has any fodder. Uh, Mila, that's Mila? pretty good. That's, I love that's, I, I that's don't pretty have good. I actually need Mila's a Colorless good. Infantry Dragon to complete my Ponza Loki team, so having Mila would be nice. Yeah, I actually really need a Mila too. Uh, Celeth, Distant Counter, and Joint uh, Hone. Joint Hone Attack? Or Joint Drive Attack? Don't. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think it's joint drive. I could be wrong, though. All I know is he's not a Sigurd. <laughs> yeah, I, all I know is he has dis distant counter, but I think Sigurd's on here, too. Shinon! Oh, not Shinon. Shamir! Yo! Shamir! Okay. <laughs> I mean, Shinon might be on here. You don't know. No, he's not. Attack he's speed solo four, as well um, as... She comes with no follow-up, doesn't she? I believe she comes with no follow-up, yes. That's pretty solid. And survivalist oh, bow is really is good too. Legendary Dimitri? Oof, yeah. Okay. Survival Spell is sick. And yeah, that's legendary Dimitri. He had sturdy Odd Tempest, impact. doesn't he? Odd Tempest and the A slot's like sturdy impact. I think it's sturdy impact. God, I'm doing this off the top of my head. <laughs> Blue is uh, looking Regan. pretty good. Still. Okay. So what is Panic okay. Smoke. Panic smoke. Smoke. I was like, what does she come with? I don't think she comes with anything I care about. Come on, doesn't she come with Panic Smoke and, like, Swiss Barrow 3 or something like that? Yeah, I think Swiss Barrow 3, but a lot. Who doesn't have Swiss Barrow 3 these days? <laughs> I feel like that's a, the most common A slot at the highest tier right now. Seether, okay, Seether Shell is still a good special. <laughs> yeah, I just wish. I understand why it's not inheritable, because that'd be dumb, but it'd be cool for mm -hmm. us. Oh, and Kanto uh, was, like, so cool and rare and awesome. Oh, Saros. Okay, hi. Wait. Okay. Oh, they're just giving us all the seventh slot uh, yeah. granting mythics for offensive this, seasons. This, this is a bait for you to buy orbs to spend on this, and then you have to buy even more orbs to pull on CYL. <laughs> mm. uh, so she had Dragon's Wall. Only season Saris is scary. Yeah. Uh, Dragon's Wall would be amazing on Legendary Robin, I think it is. The flying that one. That Legendary Robin the because I think that Legendary Robin could get really, really high res. So Dragon's Wall on her would be absolutely busted. I have heard someone talk mm -hmm. about this. I think it was PM1 said it. I can't remember who. But I want to say it's PM1. Because he knows his stuff really well. He sure <laughs> um, does. Saros. That's pretty cool. I need more of her skill. Wait, Louise and Beast Pent? Pent. Okay. Beast and Pent. <laughs> uh, Louise had the rainbow. And I can't remember what else she had. I know Pent's an absolute god. I think he had Times Pulse. I think he had... God, I can't remember what else he has. Honestly, off the top of my head, neither can I. Okay, I'm actually going to look this up. I'm curious. I'm, I'm this <laughs> curious about the Because, like, they're giving... It's so weird that they put them both on the same banner. That's interesting. I mean, it makes sense. But it's also... It's, it makes sense right. because they came out on the same banner. And usually, uh, people who are on the Mythic and Legendary banners are from around the same time. Because mm -hmm. they just, like, have a list of them that go down the list. Yeah. In order of how, like, how recent they're added to the game. Oh, she's attack speed ideal. Okay. Is she? Oh. That's pretty oh, good. Oh, well. And, um, isn't that special? Yeah, right? And <laughs> isn't that nice? Uh, I'm pretty sure... I remember... I know. I, I, I just know I don't like fighting pent, so having a pent would be very nice. <laughs> it tends to just one-shot my best res tank I have, my Nagi. With far save, and he just like eats through. Mm. Oh, he's got green duel infantry four and low attack res and times pulse. I need G duel infantry four. That is pretty handy. And low attack res, dude. Every single thing he has for fodder is really good. Yeah, he's almost Shinon tier, but he's missing the special slot. It's just I don't know. Shinon doesn't have nearly as good of a B slot, does he? In uh, what did she not have as a beat? I know he has dead eye. He's got attack defense solo four. He's got times pulse. Actually, does, got... isn't it like lull attack defense he has in the B slot? That is pretty good. It's some, some a lull for a lull. I just know that like I call Sheenon the god of fodder because no matter what you fodder off him, you can't really lose. Like all those options are good, and he has a special that's inheritable that's also really good. So, mm -hmm. um, let's see who else, who else, who else. Oh, and Sigurd. Yeah. Hey. Oh my hey. god, this banner is Sigurd. stacked. Yo. <sighs> okay. That's so, so tough. Imagine um, summoning on red and getting Celeph. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
be so demoralizing. Let's see. <laughs> on red, we have Selif, Sigurd, and Regan, which is all pretty solid. Sig- Selif's the worst of the three. Selif's the worst, but like the other two are really good. Um, like Regan? Regan's amazing, and yeah. she has some pretty unique fodder. I mean, name two other units that have pull smoke. Oh, it's no, no, pulse, panic smoke. Panic smoke? Uh. I have a few. Summer Freya does, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a few units that do, actually. I can't remember who all, but... It's pretty uh, rare. So... And, and she's like a attack buff mythic. That's awesome. And Sigurd is... I don't need to Sigurd. say anything about Sigurd. You we, understand Sigurd. We don't need to explain Sigurd. You guys know how Sigurd works. He, he's Anyone who plays Aether Raids knows yeah, how Sigurd works. If you play Aether, and you, if you play Aether Raids and you don't know how Sigurd works, you're, you're playing the wrong game. <laughs> You've been forced to learn how Sigurd works the yeah. hard way. Uh, so for blue we got Dimitri, legendary Saros, Dimitri. and who? Pent? Who? It's legendary Dimitri, her and um, Saros. Saros, legendary Dimitri, and um, Alur. Oh, Alur! Ha! I forgot she was blue. Okay, so blue <laughs> is hella stacked, pretty much like. The new unit is broken. Saros is amazing and has great fodder. Tempest and is one of the best C skills in the game, yeah, in my so personal opinion. Yeah, so all in all, you can't lose with this, with blue. Uh, green has uh-huh. Yune and Pent and Shamir. Shamir, which Yune is the worst of that batch. She's kind of trash, but, ever, but, but the other two are amazing. So do all you Yune <laughs> is just the compared to the other two, can. and compared to other mythics, Yune is kind of falling off. Just saying. Yeah, she definitely has. And Colorless has Louise, Mila, and Ire. So basically, if you care about Aether Raids, Colorless is really good. Um, red is pretty Blue. good. Blue is, is really big. Blue is absolutely pr- amazing as well. Like they're, ba- they're both missing one person for Aether Raids. Like every color is missing one person for Aether Raids, pretty much. Except for uh, yeah. Green. Green only has one Mythic, but the other two. You could slap on Ether Raids and it would still be fine. So, um, which color here do you think is the best? Mm, well, I, obviously blue, in my opinion. Yeah, I would say blue. In terms of fodder and in terms of units, blue is the most solid because even the worst mm-hmm. unit, which is Dimitri in blue, has still has amazing fodder. Um, mm-hmm. I guess in terms of fodder, I'd say uh, red would probably be the worst. No, no, yeah, re- would red be the worst? Red's not bad. Colorless is the worst. Mystic boost, Mila has nothing, and we got attack speed catch. Or ideal. Attack speed ideal. Which is p- still pretty good, but compared to like... But the other two kind of drag colorless down. Green. Green is... Green's green. Green's pretty solid. Yune's the worst of that batch. So in order, I'd have to say blue, <laughs> then... Red? Just because Sigurd's on there? Sigurd carries red. Yeah, I think well. Sigurd alone beats out like... At least Almost a quarter of band. units on this banner, maybe yeah. a third of them. So Sigurd, pull, like, if, if Sigurd was anyone else in red, red would probably be the worst. If you don't have Sigurd, like if you do not have a Sigurd, this would be a great banner. You can't uh, lose. I don't know why, but for some, like, I don't have him, and it feels like I'm missing a limb. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm heavily nerfed if, by not having Sigurd. Um, the worst thing that you could pull on red is oh no, distant counter. Oh no. That's a tragedy. What are we going to do with this encounter? <laughs> Whatever shall I do with this distant counter fodder? Yeah, right. I'll send him home. There's nothing to see yeah, here. Yeah, I, I, I just see feathers. I see Selef. I see distant counter. I just see feathers, you know? see feathers. I gotta be careful about saying that, because Joel, back in the theology team, I'm pretty sure he's a plus 10 Selef. I know, I know. Joel, Joel, we're kidding. We're kidding. Don't, we're, we're, we're joking. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so blue, then red, then green, then colorless, in my opinion. What I don't know if you're waiting for my opinion or not, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, go for it, go for it. I, uh, yeah, I think blue is easily the best in terms of just, like, what I would want to pull on. Uh, if you already have, like, one Sigurd, then I think you can kind of just skip red. Yeah. Because we all have a Regan, um... And, and Selif is eh <laughs> at best. Like, if you already have a Sigurd, you can just skip red. If you don't have a Sigurd, you really want a Sigurd. Like, yes. You really want a Sigurd. So if you don't have him, then red instantly just takes a second for me. Mm-hmm. Um, 
otherwise it's kind of it's it's like kind of the worst I mean, it's not, not the worst it's not you know i would i'd rather have Lilith because i mean attack speed ideal is great Mila is she's, she's also really good she's a really good mythic still and air i mean you can't go wrong with air yeah green eh, just don't like seeing yoon yeah yuna is kind of bringing down he green heavily which is sad compared to who she's next to because the other two are absolutely godly but it's like I I actually run a Yoon, but it's not because I want to. It's because I don't have very many good dark mythics. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I don't have her, but I'm never actually I'm never at the point where I'm like, oh, I wish I had a Yune. Like yeah, no. she's kind of useful for me because she I have ground orders on her, mm-hmm. and that's that's a pretty good skill to have in Ether raids. But that's true, yeah. That, or yeah. me trying to make her functional. <laughs> Anyway, that's my rating. I would say blue first. If you don't have Sigurd, then red. And then uh, if you do green and colorless are like, green. if there's a specific piece of fodder you want, yeah. then green and colorless you can go for it. But, you know, summoning on a mythic banner for fodder is very scary. Well, it's nice if every unit pretty much has fodder, and if the unit that you doesn't have fodder is a unit that you care about. Overall, this is actually a stellar banner, except for unit. I would agree. Everyone else has good fodder. Everyone else is a unit that people could use or could it need like personally um for me i don't have a sigurd i'd love a sigurd i need more sarah yes, for the b skill I, I need i obviously really want that new the new unit because she's absolutely god tier with a bow which is amazing uh for green i would absolutely love a pent i already have a shamir i would love a pent because he's got amazing fodder as well for colorless milla in term is the weakest in terms of fodder but i need a milla mystic boost fodder is nothing to complain about and um louise is absolutely amazing fodder so this banner overall except for yuna you can't really lose any five star you pull has something worthwhile either they're a good unit or they've got great fodder mm-hmm. yeah let's just I, I i know there's nothing oh no I hate, it's bait percent oh no we're screwed no one's pulling anything <laughs> i'm i'm trying really hard to, to type in game press quietly so i don't uh <laughs> So, um, because I have a very loud keyboard. <laughs> oh, I see. In terms of this, like, um, just a heads up, just a reminder to all you, to all you viewers. Um, this banner. Oh, is I just looked. Ah. Oh, what? Just looked up Yoon's oh. skills. You're right. Yeah. Right. Nah. Nothing far. Ooh, forget no far. that. Ooh, that's a level. Yeah. Yes. That's why I remember not pulling on her. Because I'm more pulling for her before. Because I'm like, she's absolutely worthless to me. So. Um, mm-hmm. just remember everyone in terms of this banner this banner is meant to bait you it's meant for you to spend money on for the new shiny unit and then you have to spend more money for the CYL and remember the CYL will more than likely have multiple sparks so if you care about CYL if you care about multiple sparks if you care about gatekeeper don't pawn this banner unless you're rich <laughs> Unless you don't have Sigurd. Unless you don't have Sigurd. Uh, if, you, if you're really desperate for a Sigurd, Sigurd will come back eventually, but no. this banner is actually yeah, will, stellar. but also... Yeah. Like, I'll probably yeah. spend a little Sigurd. bit on this banner Some in terms of orbs. I think I've got, like, 50 by the time this banner comes out and all that. I should have maybe 60 orbs. So hopefully I get something around then. I might do a sunning session. We'll see. Um, yeah, this is... This banner is absolutely crazy. And again, it's meant to bait us, guys. spend about 30 that. orbs on it. Hmm? <laughs> it's meant to bait us, but bait tastes so good sometimes. That's why it works. Right? This is a gotcha, and damn, they got me good this time. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Ilya, for joining me today. Thanks for inviting me, uh... I'm glad we got we uh, spent the, the three minutes before the banner dropped figuring out how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the, I tend to have people join me quite often, but it was just for this. I'm like, hmm, I need to figure out the, the tactics for this, but we got it. We got it figured. Uh, we got, we, it, we like got it. No problem. Anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed, definitely check out Theology's channel. Again, it'll be in the link in the there's going to be a link to, in the description down below. Definitely check them all out. They're absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is B-Rated Dawn, signing off. Bye.